Oh my god, man. I can't believe I let the brakes get this bad, bro. Oh, What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Too Slow Kurt, and today we're gonna be doing something to the vet, something that's very long overdue. Well, I won't say long overdue, but you know, I've been waiting a couple days because I noticed the other day that my rotor on the right side was very, very bad, and you know, I just been having some braking issues. Like when I park, look like this. Ooh, I don't know if y'all hear it, but it sounds like a train coming. It sounds like a train coming and, and it's trying to break because an animal in the middle of the road or something like that. It sounds wild. All right, really quick, guys. Before we get into this video, I just want y'all to know that there are timestamps in this video. Of course, this video, as you can see, is going to be about 27 minutes. So what timestamps means is you guys can just skip forward in the video to where I actually start working on this video because it's like a vlog style type video. Um, so I'm talking and also doing car stuff as in taking the brakes and everything. But yeah, you guys are probably wondering, oh, this video um, is uploaded after his car went down. I thought his car went down. Yes, my transmission is out right now at the moment. But that's fine because I have pre-recorded videos for you guys that I've already recorded, but I'm barely editing now and I'm getting them onto YouTube. So yes, the car is down in this moment that you guys are seeing this video. But yeah, let's get right back into it. Deuces. Look, watch this, another one right here. Let me let the window down. So, yeah, we're going to be changing the brakes and the rotors. We're going to be changing them on both sides. Low-key, I kind of just want to change the right side. But, you know, we might as well just change both while we're at it. But, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm actually on the way to Rocket's house right now. If y'all don't remember Rocket, Rocket was in the oil change video. So, you know, if y'all want to go watch that video, you know, go ahead and feel free to go watch the oil change video. I do make some banger content. So, you know, feel free to like, subscribe, stay tuned, man, because your boy got a lot of videos coming. And you know, it's just gonna keep going up. We're gonna go better from there. Pull in right here or no? Yeah, but should I reverse or what? Or pull straight in? It don't really matter. It don't matter. Like, like, what do you think is best working on the car right now in your in your area? Pull in straight. Pull in, all right, bet. I got you, bro. Alright. I hear that? I hear the brakes, bro. Ooh, I can feel it like literally grinding as I stop. Like it feels like something, imagine grabbing like a, a hammer and like just scraping it on the ground. Y'all know that, that feeling that I'm talking about? Like grinds your teeth, messes with your teeth? Yeah. Oof. Rolling, rolling around in the vet and I'm sounding like, you know, I'm driving some beat up car. It's crazy, I had to do it today. Oh shit. That good or what? Bet. Go <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What happened here? This is crazy. That's fucked up. I told you, bro. I told you I needed to switch it uh, ASAP. The other side isn't like that though. What the fuck is happening there? Dude, I have no idea. This side is straight. It still, you know, can be switched out. Got some grooves in it. Got some grooves in it on this side, but it's really that other side that's driving me crazy, this bro. Fine. This one's totally fine. You think I should switch it? 
but if you're doing one, you have to do both of them. Right, so they both can be fresh? That's crazy. That, I don't know. That's what it looks like. So guys, it's only this rotor that looks so crazy. And I don't know, you know, why, but like how I got so bad, but I'm pretty sure. I don't think it got broken right. Uh, like in the beginning? Yeah, you're supposed to bring it up to like 60 and then slam on the brakes probably 10 or 15 times to break the wear rotors and, and pads together. A lot of people don't know that. Dealerships right. don't do that. Unless they have the technicians tr test driving them and they're like, nah, fuck, you can't drive these cars. So, so dude, I, um. I think, well, I know what happened. I know how they're like this, you know, because of metal, metal contact, That's like crazy. from the brakes. But I don't know how the brakes got bad so fast. I've only given this car 10,000 miles. Yeah, like, it's, it's probably been like 11 now. But this thing is crazy. It's eating up That's so bad. Bad. It's like That's like three, that's like five thousandths taken off of the whole rotor. That's fucked. Dude. These grooves, <laughs> these grooves are like two millimeters deep. I know, because you see, you see um, that, that little piece right here. Metal chunks came off and got stuck in there. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's wild. We'll see what the brake rotor looks like. Does it stop okay? Does it stop? I mean, it like stops all right, but. Does it pull to the left or right? It's been doing that. Like, as I've been driving, it's been going left and right on its own. So, you know, like, like it gets bad, bro, at a certain point. The system, and that side has way more pressure than the other side, so it's getting easier. Guys, Rocky's been working on his truck. He rebuilt it the first time. Tell him about it a little bit. So, here's the block. Uh, so if you look right here see that broken part of the block if you get close it's cracked through the threads into yeah, the oil galleys so Crazy. i was trying to get this brass fucking plug out and it broke the block it must be a bad casting so i just got another block and rebuilt it so he rebuilt this whole block and you can see he's going crazy. He takes takes everything out himself. See, you've got everything right there. That's what that one's fucking hand honed with a fucking chainsaw file for oil flow and shit. Like, it sucks, but this is better. It's an upgrade. It's got roller lifters and cams, so that's a that's a pretty big upgrade. Alright guys, so this is what you're going to need for the job. This isn't really a how-to video, but you know, if you are watching this video because you want to learn how to, then this is what you're going to need for the job. A 21 millimeter socket and wrench, 200 foot-pound or higher torque wrench, a inch-pound torque wrench, you know, 108 inch-pounds is what you're going to be torquing it to. A T30 screw bit, you know, that's going to go for the um, rotors and stuff like that. Then you're going to need a breaker bar or extension for the socket wrench so you can take off those caliper bolts. So now we're going to start taking off the wheels and, you know, lifting up the car and everything like that. So right now we're going to start the job. You can see over there we got the brakes and the rotors that we're going to be using. Got the brake vest. I got this stuff from O'Reilly's. You see we got both pairs right here. This is the both rotors, they are slotted rotors. So brakes, rotors, everything like that. So now we're gonna lift the car up and yeah, let's get to it. So now we got the wheel off and we're gonna get ready to start taking off this rotor and everything. You know, we gotta mess with the pins back here because we're gonna be changing the brakes and we're going to be changing the rotor. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and do both sides. We're going to take care of it. But 
Just give me a second. All right, guys. So right now we turned the rotors and the wheels and everything. We are gonna put them put the car. We are gonna put the car on jack stands right now. So we're gonna lift both sides. We're gonna have both sides of the car in there. All right, guys. So we got the two jack stands on both points, as you can see. Those are the recommended, you know, jacking points as far as you know, jacking up the car and keeping them up. And then we got the jack right here just for extra safety and support. I don't want the car to fall at all. And I'd rather play it safe than sorry, all right? Getting down and dirty, man. Car's all up in the air. You need some help, bro? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my boy's struggling down there. You trying to get up? <laughs> all right, so we got the breaker bar with the 21 millimeter socket right there, as you can see. 21, big 21. And now we're just gonna start taking out these caliper boards because you know that's what we gotta start off with. So we're gonna be getting this on this bolt right here. Right, this is the top bolt. Actually, we're gonna leave the top bolt and we're gonna do the bottom bolt first. So you can see there's a bolt right there. All right, so you can see the top bolt right there, the bottom bolt right there. We're just gonna go ahead and push it down, put some weight on it. And we're just gonna keep doing that until that bolt comes out. We're also gonna put a little piece of cardboard right here so whenever we take the caliper off, it can just sit on this right here. And we pulled out the small ratchet so we can go ahead and you know, have way easier access on taking this bolt off. And now we're gonna take some tension off the top bolt. All right, so now we can take it off with the smaller ratchet. keep it on there but it's coming off though all right so all you have to do is not take off the rotors once you got both bolts off sometimes the brakes might be like really closed onto the rotor so you just want to get like a flathead as you can see right there you just want to get like a flathead and push the brakes like outward and then you know you can take off the caliper it'll come right off so now that we got the brake calipers off we can go ahead and push this rotor off but there is a bolt right here that you're going to need a torx a t30 you know so you can take that out and then the rotor will slide right off right, or, right, like hey so we might go do that while i go get fluids and stuff from o'reilly's because that's not that's not going to be good to tighten all right so this bolt was actually stripped so we're gonna have to get a new one of these all right so we got the old rotor off and we're gonna put the new rotor on but as you can see right here like i said earlier we stripped this bolt or this bolt was already stripped so we got to get a new one of these bolts and everything all right guys so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rotors back on it is nighttime so i'm using the headlamp light it's on my forehead so we're just gonna go ahead and put these rotors on these are the slotted rotors as you can see the performance these are the z51 rotors so we're just gonna put those on real quick like contacting correctly no it is look because it grooves on both sides okay so it's supposed to do that that's sweet okay but it's that's an like that motherfucker has been used look at that shit it's complete it's like you can feel it obviously mm -hmm. but also your your cooling lines are gone all your grooves are gone so these are better rotors that we got right here on the right side these aren't the same exact ones, but they look better. They have more slots and everything. As you can see, they're way heavier, way bigger, way heavier, heavier. But so these are like more. These are the performance ones for real. I mean, they're both performance, but the ones that you're holding are like more like. Oh no, dude, these, they're way better. These are fucking way lighter. That's like twenty pounds lighter for sure. Yeah, these are heavy. These are big boys. Yeah, it's probably because they're new. I'll be honest. Right, true. They got way more fucking music. Now we're putting the new rotor on right now. You got the whole mess? Mm-hmm. Where's that screw? You also want to make sure that the hole lines up right there, as you can see. There is a hole on there, and you want to keep it on there. Keep it lined up. So since our original screw got stripped, we bought these small little baby ones from O'Reilly's, and we're just going to go ahead and put those in. Yeah, this thing isn't detrimental to the uh, structural integrity of the rotor, by the way. See, look, that, keep, keep, that keeps it on there, though. Just to keep it on there while you're installing it. I thought rotor. that was going to be a baby one. No, it holds it. That's all you need. You don't need to... Yeah, that's it. It's on there. All right. So, 
obviously the lug nuts keep it on, but that keeps it on there when you're putting your wheel on. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to get off the kilter. Hell yeah. All right, so we good to go. We're gonna start taking these brakes out and we're gonna put the new brakes in. So now we gotta take off these brake pins right here that are on the side. As you can see, we gotta hit them out with a matted or something like that. And then, yeah, we're gonna take them out and then the brakes should be able to pop out. Hold it tight. If you look at that, it's a roly poly. I haven't seen a roly poly in boy so long. Look at that boy. Jeez, you look kind of scary when it's that close. But so right now we got the, the pin out. You know you want to hit it, hit it with like a mallet. And pull that with a pair of pliers. Let me keep hitting it for a second. We got it pulled out. We got it pulled out right there. As you can see, we're gonna grab it with something and we're gonna pull it out. And we're gonna do that to both sides, the top one and the bottom one. All right. So we got the old pads right here. As you can see, there's no meat on these boys at all. No meat on them at all, bro. This one has a little bit of life. But look at this one compared to this one. Nada. Rolling on straight metal. I'm surprised that this one doesn't look like the opposite one. You know what I mean? But we got them off, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and put everything back together now. Guys, we got the wrong brakes. They gave us the wrong brakes. So now... So guys, we did get the wrong brakes, as you can see. Two different things, bro. Two different things. So, um, we're just gonna go ahead and take off the other side rotors, and you know, take off that wheel and stuff. And then we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna have everything ready for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna we're gonna go get the right pads, and then you know, it'll be a lot easier, quicker. We already have everything off. We just throw the brakes on there, and then throw the rotors and stuff back on, and you know, it'll be a lot more smoother. So. Alright guys, so as you can see right here, this is the old rotor and look at this thing. This was the main reason why I needed to change my brakes and stuff. But it's crazy because this turned out to happen very, very quick. I noticed at first it was just like a small strip, you know, like a very, very skinny, skinny strip. Probably like, like this thing right here, but skinny going all the way around. Then I went to go drive a car and then I think like three days later, I looked back and it was completely like this. So. Guys, if your brake pads go bad, it's gonna start wearing down the whole rotor. But it's okay though, because we're gonna change it and we're gonna get the new one on here, okay? Yes, sir, we got the brand new rotor on, as you can see. No more, you know, wishy-washy, crazy looking stuff on there no more. We good, we good, ready to go. Look at this, guys, the end results of those pads there's nothing on there at all there's no life to the pads especially not this one right here boy look at that the hell but it's all good though that's why you know you live the part another day we got the pads i'm gonna go ahead and take these out and then we're gonna go from there all right guys we got the brakes off and look at this brake right here this was the brake pad that was on this side like this, just, you know, gripping onto the rotor and just squeezing it, metal on metal contact, like literally 0% life on this path. It's actually crazy. I could have possibly saved my rotors if I would have just switched out my brake pads, but, you know, it was too late by the time I noticed, so. It is what it is, and we just gonna keep it pushing. We got everything replaced, like I said. Well, we got everything off the car. Right now, you see right here, we got the rotors on both sides we can't put the pads in right now because these are these are the what the pads look like but the pads that i had got from the store were not the right pads so tomorrow morning we gotta go get the pads and then we gotta put them on but this is just ridiculous right here man this is absolutely crazy 
all right guys so this is the next day we are here again and this time we're going with the their last elite brake pads some pretty big brakes right here as you can see got a whole lot of meat on them these are the performance ones so like you know these big circles right here if you're scared about what those are that's just so like if you're at a racetrack or something you can just pull them out but you know these hinges right here do it real quick So right now we're seat clamping it and you know we're de decompressing these calipers and then you know we got the brakes already in there so then we're gonna stick the pins back in and we're gonna stick this back on and then go from there So now, as you can see, we got the pins back through and everything like that on both sides. So we're just gonna slide these over and then we're gonna put the pin back in through the middle. All right, so now that we got both on, we're gonna go ahead and hit these pins back through, then stick the caliper back on. Oh. All right, so we got this side on. Just putting these bolts back in real quick. And once you get those bolts on, you you'll be good. Yeah, so once you get everything back on, you just put those bolts in, tighten it up, and then you go to the other side. And we really working under a umbrella right now, man. That's dedication, dedication. So then remember these back bolts right here, the back caliper bolts, this one and the bottom one right there, those need to be torqued to 200 foot pounds. So, you know, we're just gonna tighten it up right now, and then we gotta go to O'Reilly's to rent a bigger torque wrench because 200 pounds is pretty high all right we got everything on on both sides you know all slot rotors and brakes are now completed well we have to just torque them down to 200 foot pounds and then you know we're gonna go from there all right guys so we got the torque wrench from o'reilly's this was like 108 dollars so we're just gonna torque both bolts on this caliper and then it's gonna be good to put the wheels back on all right I'm gonna do this with one hand for you guys so you guys can see it. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off and I'm gonna have to do this, but I'll be right back. So Rocky got everything together on the motor and stuff, put some gas in it. Now he's gonna get ready to start it and see if the rebuild works. So bad, bro. Yeah. I go to him anyway still. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It don't get worse. What you making? What's the message you want to give to, you know, everybody else? Keep the dream alive, man. Keep hoping your dream, man. Don't, don't never stop believing. Yeah. You know? You want to seem like it ain't going, it ain't going to ever happen. Just, just keep believing. Uh-huh. Life ain't worth living if you can't have no dreams or no goals or no better expectations of yourself. Just being around you, you know, you that energy. Y'all young men, man, young women I've met since I've been here in this city, bro. You know, y'all got y'all got instant energy. Y'all y'all have that instant compassion for people that's fortunate. So, you know, they let me know I'm all right. Tell them your name, bro. What's your name? I'm Sean, man. Sean. I mean Sean, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Already a good, humble man, man. You got a lot of knowledge. A you know, lot man, of knowledge. I need y'all to stay strong and healthy. You know, y'all, y'all was part of me. And if they go by, then I don't wish I could go back. You know. Uh -huh. Shout out to Sean, man. Shout out to Sean. He's a good man. Good man with a good heart. You know. Good man with a good heart. Got a lot of knowledge. He came over here. He started talking to us about the truck, and you know the engine and the engines and all kind of stuff, bro. And he was telling us how we can fix, you know, a little bit of smoke just coming out, all kind of stuff. And we got a lot of knowledge on cars, so it sucks that he's homeless, man, you know. So shout out to Sean, man. I told my boy we love him. 
So, and I meant that. So, I love you, Sean. You ever see this video? We love you, man. Feels good, huh? Yeah. It's better yeah. than a fucking orgasm, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. Well, what'd you say we done? Just uh, taking the new motor out for the first time, really. She yeah. shifts good. Did you feel that? No. Just me and Rocky going out of the street. We gotta go get some tools and stuff. I love this. And place. how you feel, bro? How you feel? First, I'm like, drive, I'm like zero miles. Good. No miles on that engine, bro. It's got to go easy. I ain't revving it at all, y'all. Y'all ain't getting nothing special, bro. <laughs> y'all remember what he did rolling. last time? I'm happy as a motherfucker. <laughs> We're moving, yo. Y'all remember what he did last time, right? On the oil change video. <laughs> Rocket is fucking crazy, man. Oh, roll. It's better than an orgasm, man. I'm telling you. All right. So now we got everything torqued. Everything's nice and ready to be, you know, put together. And all I got to do now is put on the wheels. And then put on the wheels. And then, you know, go break them in. All right. And as you can see, we got both wheels back on the car. Everything's torqued down. My boy is doing his last side right here. Just make sure all the boards are on tight. Then yeah, we're going to go ahead and drive it. Got to get to places. Got to get to work real quick. Got to go home. And yeah, we're going to talk in a minute. Don't go fast. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll see you later, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate your help, bro. I'll yeah, see you yeah. soon, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So if you made it here, you know, this is the end of the video. I do appreciate you guys for watching. You know, the brakes are good. Still got to get them bled, you know, because, you know, the brakes are, you know, a little compressed. I mean, decompressed and everything. So it's like really flat whenever I tap onto the brakes and everything. But... Other than that, man, you know, the car is good. Everything feels good. No more squeaking sounds, scratching sounds, all that stuff. So, yeah, if you guys did like this video and you know you guys want a new YouTuber to start watching, you know, you know, go ahead and tap in with your boy, man. Other than that, it's your boy, Too Slow Kurt. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and stay tuned.